Hi friends, my name is Lizzie. I was born with a condition that makes me look pretty different. Because of that, when I was a kid, I had to deal with a lot of bullying in school. When I would walk by other kids, they would normally laugh or point or whisper to their friends to look at me. When it was time to go to recess, I never really had anyone to play with uh, because the other kids were, were afraid of me because I didn't look like them. It was always very confusing to me because when I was at home, I was just Lizzie. Baby girl, let me see. Oh, Lizzie, that's beautiful. You did, that's good. My parents raised myself and my siblings with so much love and support and lots and lots of laughter. They taught us so many incredible life lessons, but there's one that is very, very special and it's it's the one I want to share with all of you. They always reminded me that no matter how I feel or how I look, I am more than my condition. I am more than just a girl who is very small or a girl who can only see out of one eye. They helped me realize that I'm someone that loves to spend time with my friends and family. I love to help others. I like to make others smile. I, I love to learn. I love to teach. I love to play with my dogs and go to the movies. And I love Legos. I love, love, love Legos. When I was in elementary school, at the beginning of every school year, my dad started walking me in front of my class and he would basically introduce me. He would tell them, this is Lizzie. I know she looks different, but she's just like you. And he would explain why I look different. I started making so many friends who were so supportive and who always stood up for me in a kind way and it helped so much. No matter how old we are or what we're doing, if we come across something that we don't really know about, whether it's a person or anything else that we don't really understand, it's very easy to be afraid of it or to be hesitant to learn more about it. It's also very easy to be curious and being curious about something or someone is absolutely okay as long as it's done in a kind and respectful way. Now this is the part I am so excited to share with you. This has been a huge dream of mine for a very long time and I'm finally starting to make it happen and I cannot wait to share it with you. When I was young, my dad would introduce me and now it's my turn to be the introduction that my dad was for me. I'm going to be using my platform to introduce you to other people who have differences that you might not understand or you might not know about, but who are people just like you and me. Some of the people I'll be introducing you to will have differences that you will be able to see just by looking at them, but some of them will also have differences that you cannot see I have made some really, really special, amazing new friends, and I cannot wait to share them with you. My goal in doing this is to show you that we are all uniquely and wonderfully made. If you are ever at, at school or at the store or at the park and you see someone that looks different, you'll have a little bit better understanding of how to approach that person. And you'll have a reminder that we all just want to be seen and we all just want to have a friend. So with that being said, I want to start this series by introducing you to my new amazing friend, Andy, and her incredible and amazing son, Jack. Hello, my name is Andy Woodbin, and I'd like to talk a little bit about my son, Jack. Jack had a stroke at birth and he was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, which causes stiff muscles and makes it really difficult to move. Sometimes people are afraid to ask questions because they don't want to come across as offensive. But honestly, we really do love questions and it really is just the heart behind it. We, we know people are curious, so we're open to any and all questions and uh, we really do love and enjoy answering them. Hmm, something brave. Uh, well, Jack, he loves roller coasters. He would literally ride thrill rides all day if we let him. He is really the thrill seeker of the family for sure. One thing that I wish people knew about Jack was just that he's just like anyone else. He has the same wants and desires and needs and he wants to love and be loved just like anyone else. 
Jack teaches me so many things every day. He teaches me perseverance, he teaches me resilience, and he teaches me patience. It's so much harder for him to do simple things than it is for me to do, so just watching him work so hard is incredibly motivational and inspiring. One piece of advice that I love to give to parents who have children with special needs is to hone in and find each child's individual and unique strengths and highlight those. I know it's really easy to see the things that they struggle with, but if you can pinpoint those things that they excel at and do well and highlight those, it's really just gonna build so much confidence and independence and ultimately help them long-term with mental health as well. So there is the first video of this series I will be doing and I am so grateful for everyone who is going to be collaborating with me on this and I hope that you can go. I will be putting all of their um, handles and information in the caption if you want to go follow them and learn more about their story or send them some kind words. I think that would be so great and so special. Um, but. Yes, I'm so excited to introduce you to some really, really amazing people. There'll be girls, there'll be boys, there's adults, they're from America, some aren't from America, but it's going to be so good and I cannot wait to share more stories with you. I love you guys. Bye!